What's up, Sweaty? So we just got out of Hall H. We saw the incredible Thor Ragnarok. They showed it like a five-minute clip, and then this trailer that they just dropped online. Then they showed another five-minute clip from Black Panther and dropped another trailer. I don't know if that trailer is out yet, but we're like, oh, my God, it's, it, this is incredible. I guess they're not going to show Infinity Wars. It seemed like it was all over. Mm-hmm. Everybody, all of a sudden, you know, Chris Hemsworth, you got Chadwick Boseman, and the, you know, you got uh, Mark Ruffalo. They come out on. They yeah. come back on stage. Whoa! You got well, and very, Loki I was going to say out. very appropriately too. Tom Hiddleston, yeah. who plays Loki, was the one who kind of you know stopped everything and was like, whoa, 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 wait, yeah. wait a second. I'm up here with three Avengers. Yeah. I think there's something else. There's you guys something want else to see. everybody wants to see. Then Joe Russo, the director, uh, one of the directors of the Infinity War, Avengers: Infinity War, comes out and he's like, all right, everybody wants to see this. Let's play it. People freak out. They go nuts. And, of course, we got to see what a lot of people saw at D23 like a week ago. 6,000 more people got to see the Avengers Infinity War. Em and I were some of those, two of those 6,000 people <laughs> losing our freaking minds, screaming, freaking out. It truly is like one of the craziest, most epic trailers. We're calling Thor Ragnarok oh, yeah. and Black Panther epic. I don't get, what's another word? Cosmic mm, freak out. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's kind of next level from the point of view that, you know, obviously with, with Thor Ragnarok, going to be an incredible film. Black Panther just fantastic ensemble cast. Chadwick Boseman is really finally getting to be in the spotlight. But with Infinity War, you have all of these characters that you're already so emotionally yep. invested in because we've already seen all of their individual films. We've had a chance to see lots of them come together in the various uh, Avengers movies and also in Captain America Civil totally. War. And now it's just like literally every Marvel character ever in one film. If they release this trailer, the one that we saw, I think they should release it with the preface, like how they kind of set up from Iron Man yeah. all the way to Civil War. Like they give us little tidbits of the journey of the entire Marvel uh, you know, cinematic universe, what it took to get to this point. Yeah. And it's really, I mean, this Infinity War trailer is incredible. It I, is. I mean, obviously we're working with really high emotional stakes yeah. here because again, these are characters that we already know their backstories and we're really, really invested in what happens to them. So we're starting in a very sort of dramatic place, which a lot of the Marvel films have a really good comedic sensibility about them. And I think that Infinity War is definitely going to like lean more on the dramatic, yeah. but there's a healthy dose of comedy in there as well. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people are saying, oh, it's some spoilers for Thor Ragnarok because, you know, you see the, you see Thor, oh, spoilers, Ooh. you see Thor <laughs> floating in outer space and the, runs into the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. It's like, obviously he survives. Hmm, strange that he would have survived. Yeah, I, mean, I had no idea yeah. Thor was going to make it through his own movie. Yeah, nutty, but yes. So you get, you get a lot of, you get a chance to see Rocket Raccoon talking to Thor. I mean, the, the audience is freaking out, yelling. I can't, I can't remember what Thor even said because people were screaming absolutely and i mean i'm just so interested to see how all of these characters are finally brought together to take on thanos yeah i mean for me like you know and then we cut away to a series of very quick clips and when i say quick clips i'm talking like 10 frames 15 frames you see you do get to see it like a lot of people freaked out as well when you see the hair on on peter parker's you know, uh, he's Arms getting the, my, up, yeah. like my hair is doing right now. Spidey senses. Talking about it, the Spidey sense. He's like in a school bus freaking out. We're like, yo, Spider-Man. It's yeah. like everybody, they did little setups for all the different characters. Well, and also, you know, uh, for me, I really freaked out when I saw like Bucky breaking free because I just, I love Sebastian Stan totally. and that character so much. And it seems like he's maybe working with like Black Panther and totally. some of the Wakanda crew. Most definitely. And, and then, I mean, Steve Rogers, you see him for like two seconds. Full beard. He's looking grizzled. He's in his nomad secret <laughs> Avengers outfit. You're like, yo, it's, you know, it's like all these things are going yeah. off. And then, of course, you see, uh, you see Star-Lord like, oh, God. And then you see this weird <laughs> black cloud and like Thanos shows up, just comes out. People went nuts. And that's where the trailer goes into overdrive. It, absolutely. You see Peter, like you see Spider-Man in his iron spider suit jumping around. They're on some other planet. All the Avengers and the Guardians are all hanging out together. Suddenly, they cut away to like the um, the Black Guard. What I mean, the what are the they bl- called? The uh, 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 oh, the what Black are- Order, I believe, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, the Black Order. You see a couple of quick clips of them fighting, like Spider Man getting smashed down. Then you see Thor getting his head squeezed by Thanos. You see them going toe to toe with Iron Man. Thanos and Iron Man fighting it out. You see quick clips of uh, of uh, they look like Vision was captured or trapped something, in some kind of yeah. cage or something. I mean, we're definitely dealing with something where the action is going to be incredibly intense and going to be happening to a lot of characters that 
we really love. I mean, we saw a moment where it looks like Peter Parker may be in trouble. If yeah. He's apologizing he's to Tony apologizing, Stark. He's apologizing. Like, it looks like he's oh. definitely injured. And then a lot of people have talked about that scene with Thanos pulling down a moon. You've got <laughs> to see it to believe it because he's got like, it looked like he only had two of the five Infinity, Infinity Stones. Stones. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if you just have two of those and you could literally pull meteorites from the moon above you to come raining down. What can you do with yeah, all of them? That's like a, that's the way to end a trailer. It really it just like you're like everybody was just in shock. Yeah, I feel like I'm still trying to process it. Yeah, we really kind of have to see it again. Can you please release it online? Yeah, Yeah, everybody wants to see it. I think the entire planet wants to see it. Now it's 9,000 people who've seen it, Mm -hmm. so I think it's time to raise the stakes. But uh, that's our quick review. (laughs) If you want all the sweat, you can like check out the other videos on Collider. I mean, we talked about Thor Ragnarok. We talked about Hulk, Ant-Man, Captain Marvel. We covered all the Stranger Things, Westworld. We got it all covered here. So check out all the other videos. I'm John Schnepp, Emma Fife. See you later.